Gyms continue to pose a relatively high risk for the spread of COVID-19. For the foreseeable future, all indoor fitness should look different than it has in the past. Fitness classes, studios, and indoor gyms present a unique risk to instructors, trainers, and attendees. Countries that have had very effective control measures and have been able to reopen are now providing valuable information. With very high levels of surveillance and testing, many resurgences in cases and outbreaks have been linked directly to fitness activities. After reopening in May, Japan traced clusters of cases back to gyms. Another well-documented example with careful contact tracing highlighted how a fitness studio in South Korea spread the virus amongst its instructors and members. Those resurgences were detected because of excellent outbreak management, very high testing rates, and effective contact tracing. These are all things that the U.S. does not currently have. These outbreaks have confirmed our suspicions that the virus transmits effectively during fitness activities when people exhale and inhale forcefully. This likely allows the virus to travel farther in respiratory emissions during physical exertion than it does during normal breathing and speaking. This is true indoors and outdoors, but the effects of transmission are magnified indoors. Small outdoor fitness and dance classes with significant spacing between participants present a relatively low risk of transmission. Indoor activities with few participants and little interaction, physical contact or face-to-face -face conversation present a reasonable risk. Some facilities may be able to mitigate the risk with drastically reduced capacity, improved ventilation, and frequent cleaning of all surfaces and equipment, but this is not your safest option. Activities that involve direct contact between members from different households present a very high risk of transmission. This includes activities like partner yoga, partner dancing, contact sports, and any kind of combat training that involves sparring with someone. Gyms will be safer when there are very few local cases. So it's important to be aware of and responsive to what's going on in your area.